Hey guys, how's it going? So, today I am going to do a first impression a let's play a review of a game called Rum and Gun. Now, always, as always with all of my first impression uh, reviews, I'm going to play the game for an hour or two and at the end of the uh, run, I will give you guys my final opinion on the game, whether I think the game is worth $5 or not. The game costs $5, which is not a whole lot, so really the game doesn't have to be extraordinary in order to be worth $5, but today we will see if the game is at least worth five dollars from uh, what i saw on uh, steam the game looks fun i bought this game with my own money i didn't get a developer key or anything like that like i usually do the game is developed by one person it seems so uh yeah we will definitely see today if the game can impress us now from the very beginning uh the game has no resolution options which is something you do not see very often the only graphic settings uh, that you have is high or whatever low or medium or whatever and pixel density and then windowed mode so you can't even choose full screen you can't choose borderless nothing like that so it's either windowed or not windowed um so the game is extremely basic with regards to the options but i mean you can't really expect too much from a solo uh developer so with that being said uh let's jump into the game the game does have co-op uh, but I'm gonna play it uh, solo. We're gonna see if the game can impress uh, with the solo uh, campaign, I guess I can say, even though I don't know if there is really a campaign. So, title of Adventurer, can we change that? Okay, we can change that apparently. Uh, I don't know, let's just make it LFP Gaming. Uh, I want to be a female. And then there's a couple different difficulties. Uh, you can see there, this is something that I've been talking about for the past three or four videos. When you give a difficulty a selection to a player, you must say what the bloody difficulty is. So just showing easy, medium and hard doesn't help nothing. You have to say, what is actually being changed so it's really surprising that uh, from a solo developer this is the first game out of the past four or five games that i've reviewed that actually does this correctly from a bloody solo developer i mean shadow warrior 3 didn't do it um what's the other games uh, like a couple, like f literally the past four or five games, double A and triple A games that I played in the past uh, um, four or five videos, not one of them did this correctly. Each and every one of them have useless uh, um, descriptions of the difficulties, whereas this game from a single developer is actually doing it correctly. It shows you literally what is changed by taking easy, medium, or hard. So this is really, really uh, good already. This developer at least has a little bit of sense. Whereas the past five games that I reviewed did not even uh, do this. So this is very good. I also see that on hard you actually get higher loot levels. So let's, let's do it on hard. Let's play the game on hard because I like the fact that you get higher loot levels. I've been talking about it for the past couple of videos where if you want the player to play on higher difficulties, you have to incentivize them with more loot or more experience or anything like that. 
I like the graphics already, I have to say. Drink up. Okay, E. I can drink with E. Attack with left click. Hold E to drink rum and heal any damage you've taken. Rum also gives stamina. Okay. Is that guy bad? I'm assuming he's bad. Okay, that one uh, dude almost killed me. Okay, I did drink. Ouch. How is it hitting me? I was standing behind the, uh, the tree and it still hit me. Perform a sword charge by attacking and moving in the same direction, okay? Can I attack the crabs? And we get a gun. Okay, that doesn't seem good. No, I want to attack with my melee weapon. Okay, so it seems that every now and then you can um, bleed, the, the enemy will bleed. I think it's just like a, a chance thing, you know, it's not something that you can constantly do, but it's a chance thing that happens where the enemy will, will bleed. And so left click uses the pistol, right click uses uh, obviously the sword. Tonic, I don't know what tonic is. Oh, it actually healed me. And then that gives me black powder, but I'm currently full of uh, black powder, so I can't pick up any more. Get some more rum. How the hell am I shooting miss? And how the hell are they so ac accurate? Okay, why can't I pick this one up? Or is that the black powder? Oh, okay, so that over there might be the black powder. I thought the black powder is, is literally bullets, but apparently you need to have black powder in order to shoot and your uh, bullets actually regenerate on their own. So you can see there at the bottom left, my uh, black powder goes down. And now it goes up again. Okay, so now I understand. So you actually have a limited amount of black powder, but an unlimited amount of bullets. You just need to wait for the bullets to actually um, regenerate. Oh, and you can dodge with space. Okay. So far, the hard the difficulty isn't so bad. Right click to unlock. And why do you need to unlock it? That's stupid. And when do you level up? Like, 
I assume the game has levels and stuff like that. Yes, it indeed does levels. So when do you actually level up? Because I don't see me gaining any um, levels or anything like that really. So far the game is pretty self-explanatory, nothing too crazy or uh, difficult. Okay, there's bombs and there's treasure. We get some more rum, we are almost at maximum rum. Okay, now I have bombs in my hand. And they just keep on spawning. Wow, bombs are uh, powerful. Bombs are hilariously powerful. Bombs are just destroying that fool. And he's dead. Superior weapon. Okay, let's drink a little bit. Yeah, bombs are the shit. And they're just respawning the whole time. There's a red thing over there I don't know it doesn't look like I can get over there yeah I'm getting pushed back constantly I didn't want to pick up that tonic. Uh, press R to reload faster. Okay, so it has like a reloading kind of a thing. Blah, 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 but they also may hurt you. Okay, yeah, well, obviously don't throw bombs at my feet or anything like that. That would not be smart. Let's have a look at the... Okay, well, that's definitely good. Oh, I actually didn't want to uh, unlock that. I thought I would equip it instead of uh, um, unlocking it, but okay. Not the end of the world. It at least gives health a regen, which is pretty good. I don't want to pick up that tonic right now. Let's go back and pick up the gunpowder from here, even though I'm already full. The gunpowder also regenerates for some reason. I got a peg leg. A powder cap and... Um... 
Uh, armor. How much gold? Do oh, okay, Se 13. I see of there. And there's my experience. I didn't even see my experience. Okay, so my experience is there at the top left. Reading material. Three bombs. Bombs are stupid powerful. And we level up. Uh, guns automatically reload while out of combat. Plus 10 pistol damage. Plus 30 stamina, that's a lot. Plus 5 damage. How much stamina do I actually have? Is 30 stamina actually a lot? Uh, I can't see. There's more crabs coming. Let me have a look. Where do I actually see my stamina? Because I can't really see my stamina at all. Literally, I can't see my stamina. Um, I mean, re-randomize perks. Can you re-randomize once per thing or what? Okay, let's do it. Re-randomize. Uh, Ardor capacity sounds good. Perfect shots cost no ammo. If you are not hurt for 10 seconds, you evade the next hit. That's pretty good. And then 30 stamina. Uh, 10 powder capacity. Well, I don't really run out of powder capacity, to be honest. Perfect shots cost no ammo. Perfect shot. What is a perfect shot? Um... I mean, it sounds good. Perfect shots cost no ammo, even though I don't really have a problem with ammo, to be honest. I think the powder capacity will be very, very good. Let's go for uh, powder capacity. You can see my powder also regenerates. That's weird. So basically everything regenerates, except your health, of course, and your rum. Your rum also doesn't regenerate but otherwise everything regenerates your powder your bullets well the bombs don't regenerate but obviously they they won't regenerate that would be a little bit too overpowered i think i'm full rum right now i think yes i'm full rum and then over here do i actually have a point no i don't have a point I wonder when I get... Oh, okay, so I did actually... Oh, okay, so you get one of these, it seems. Either those or these to choose from at the beginning. Okay. I'm a little bit out of bullets now. But they will regenerate. Just pick up all of the money. So we are full rum everything that's good the 
Let's just see if we can't get more bombs. Well, it's not the end of the world if we go into the next stage with one less bomb. Okay, so that's the first stage done. Uh, Captain, thank God you're alive. Captain Crowell is way ahead of us. The bastards going for the caves. I, I almost wasn't able to read that finished. I don't like it when they skip dialogue. Captain, I can't take it much longer. Take this fiddle. It's my greatest treasure. Seaman. Uh -huh. Giggle, giggle. F, what does that do? Plus, press F to play the fiddle. It attracts items and heals your followers. Needs rum to work. Okay, so you even can get followers. That's pretty interesting. Okay, so this is my stash. Okay, so I can loot more rum if I unlock that one. My coins are there at the top left, obviously. Um, worthless shirt, we can sell that. Uh, extra walk speed, more powder per minute, and more dropped gold. Big leg gives more powder cap and armor. I don't know what that does. And then that loots more rum. And I don't think I'm going to take any of that stuff. I'll rather just keep my gold. Because every piece of loot that you pick up, you have to unlock, it seems. Okay, what are your health levels? Okay, stop. Okay, so you have to cancel it. When you play your fiddle, you have to cancel it again. So, otherwise it, it continuously plays. Okay, so I now have two people following me. That should make everything much easier. a new pistol I will check out my new pistol in just a second Finish sprinting with a melee attack for extra damage. Remember to hold spacebar to run. Okay. You can kick while drinking, reloading, or playing an instrument. Okay. I picked up a new gun, but I don't see it. Or was it just pistol bullets? Is that what it was? It's possible. I wonder what happens when my people die. Like if one of them dies, are they literally dead? Because that guy over there has very little HP. I'm a little bit afraid of him actually dying. Okay, they look friendly. Yes, they are friendly. Javelin, 
release javelin exactly when the marker blah 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 Okay, so I guess that's what it meant by releasing or a, getting a perfect shot. So if you click, now if you click and hold, and you do it on the green, then it's a perfect attack. So like this, for instance, like there, that was perfect. So if you do that, then it will not consume any... Uh, ammo. That's pretty interesting. And it can splash. That's quite nice. And it's quite powerful. I mean, 50 damage is not to be snuffed at. But it does have a considerable travel, travel time, to be honest. It's not instant like the uh, bullet is. Okay, I hit myself with the bomb there a little bit, but nothing too bad. Reset javelin exactly blah 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 yes I already figured that out So far I'm actually liking this game I did not expect a $5 game from a solo developer to uh, be this good actually there's a lot of different mechanics and stuff going on at the same time but it's all really quite nice i'm actually uh, enjoying the game i'm not a huge fan of twin stick shooters it must be said uh like hell divers is pretty good um but like uh, i'm i'm not a huge fan of it to be honest so the fact that this game can uh, keep my attention for more than an hour uh, that will be quite quite an achievement already because like I say I'm not a fan of these types of games usually I mean they're okay but it's not like I I really enjoy these games Don't die, don't die. Ah, oh, one of my guys are dead. Okay, so that's what happens when your guys lose all of their HP. They simply drop on the floor dead. So you should really concentrate, to be honest, to uh, stop your guys from dying. It sucks a little bit because... Uh, like a couple of hits and they're dead you know so that's quite unfortunate i would have liked it if there was perhaps a, a down timer you know like instead of dying immediately there's a down timer so if the guy uh, loses all of its health then you will stay on the ground for whatever 15 seconds or something like that and then only after that uh, will he die and you can actually heal him before that time runs out you know something like that that would have been um really cool so this one does more damage uh per shot but it shoots much slower so it's better efficient with um bullets since each bullet does about 50 percent more damage that's good uh, this one uh, gives you less rum looted but more rum shield and more drinking speed uh less capacity 
unless it gives you more capacity but it looks like it will give you less capacity and a little bit more healing maybe i'm not too sure uh overall doesn't really look that good um Yeah, I think I'm going to keep what I have currently. Powder per minute looks good, and the uh, dropped gold also seems pretty good. But it's going to cost me 31 gold just to unlock it, so it's not really that good. So yeah, I'm, I'm not going to use any of that stuff right now. I'm gonna switch to the spear. I'm liking the spear because that doesn't even take uh, bullets or nothing like that. I lost one more of my guys, unfortunately. I don't like the fact that the rum is wasted when let's say you're at uh two four nine and your maximum is two five zero then you will pick up an entire rum bottle which only gives you one rum one rum from one four nine to two five zero but it consumes the entire rum bottle i'm not a fan of that at all it's really a big waste of uh, rum. Okay, so that one is really not not that good. It's a little bit better, but not not really anything to shout about. And that one we already know. How the hell did that spear fly right over him? There's a blue thing over here, but it seems like a scene transition, and I don't know if I want to do a scene transition right now. Um, I mean, we can, I guess so. Leave the area. No, I don't really want to leave the area right now. We can come back there a bit later, perhaps. But I don't want to leave the area right now. All of my guys are dead, unfortunately. I'm also almost dead. And I leveled up. It's like an invisible piece of shit.
Ouch. He's still around here somewhere. Bastard. Okay, so I lost all of my guys, unfortunately. Uh, let's have a look. Let's check out here. Okay, so I can't use any of my rank or level 6 abilities or level 8 abilities. Nothing like that. I still have to choose from the default ones that I have right now. Uh, let's go for this one. That will help me survive a little bit longer. We get a new weapon, I think. Yeah, unfortunately, keeping your crew alive is really, really difficult because they just storm in and attack, you know. If perhaps you could have gotten like a ranged crew or something like that and maybe told them like uh, put their put their tactics to be ranged, you know, then they shoot, walk away, shoot, walk away, shoot, walk away the same way how I do, then I would have been able to survive longer but really the the fact that they just storm in and attack you know your your crew is never going to be able to live very long to be honest they're just like kamikaze crew to be honest Here, something weird is gonna happen. Almost certainly. I'm not getting a good feeling of this place. Uh, more rum. Rum per kill, power per minute. Oh, that's very good. That's a very good uh, tape. That gives him more rum, more powder, and a bigger powder cap. Uh, this one is basically exactly the same as the one that I currently have. Um, this one might actually not be too bad. It does more damage but shoots slower. And it has a chance to bleed and a bigger chance to stun and much more knockback. Okay, let's go for this one. Pretty good. Can you actually dual wield? I wonder. Wow, you can actually dual wield. Oh no, wait, you can't. You can only select one, one at a time. I almost got excited for a minute because you can, even though you can put both in one hand, basically, you can't select both at once. You can only select one at a time. So, a little bit uh, sad, but what what can you do? Okay, so here the shit is gonna hit the fan almost certainly. Okay, apparently not. What do I have to do? Okay, well apparently nothing. Nothing is gonna happen. 
maybe I will come back there later on and there will be something, I don't know. Oh, what's that? That's the first time that I've seen that thing. You found a spell mark. Use it on a socketed weapon to get a new spell. That's interesting. Okay, let's quickly see a spell mark you say uh drunken scratch uh multi shot powder cost uh spell power factor three projectiles shot for 80 percent damage plus one cost burst shot cluster bombs plus six damage per six percent damage when target has low health Blah, blah 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 okay well that seems pretty great it takes two more powder but it shoots out three projectiles at 80 percent damage plus one cost per burst shot that's that seems very good i wonder i don't believe you will be able to remove the uh the thing more more than likely you won't be able to remove it which is sad um but what can you do about it that's just one of those things so let's see can we equip it there no i assume you can only equip the orange stuff on a orange pistol like this one for instance um and then you can equip a blue spell on the blue weapons like that one is blue and that one is blue i'm only assuming i don't i don't even know drag on equipped item to apply well and it's not happening so um yeah my suspicion might be correct but that's fine um i'm totally fine with that Talisman of Luck absorbs a killing blow and heals you for 50%. That's pretty nice. Okay, here comes a bunch of enemies. So this place is empty now. I have to say I'm really liking the game. The game is just getting deeper and deeper to be honest. Like the the mechanics and that kind of stuff. It's just getting more and more. I like games where after two or three or four hours of playing you just discover more and more stuff and this really seems like one of those types of games you know even though i've obviously now only been playing for uh how long 44 minutes uh if we get the shrine before okay uh, he got lucky at cartagena but he won't get away this time do not underestimate him he made a deal with them like I said, I don't like games where you can't f read the stuff to the finish. Especially since I'm obviously not a native English speaker, I learn uh, or I uh, read a little bit slower than perhaps a uh, native English speaker would. Because I'm obviously not used to uh, reading English for the whole of my life, you know? Let's have a look. Press L to show life bars. Press R to reload when green. Okay. The 
these bastards <laughs> they they uh, really dodge they're really good at dodging I have to say they do not fuck around when it comes to dodging how the hell am I missing It's like the bullet flies right through him sometimes. Like right through the enemy. Oh, you actually have unlimited ammo. I didn't even know that. I thought the ammo would regenerate at a slow pace constantly. But no, apparently um, you uh, have unlimited ammo. You just need to press R at any time and it will be uh, regenerated. These bastards really dodge very well, I have to say. They just like dodge, dodge, dodge the whole fucking time. The uh, developer did a great job in making enemies that fucking irritate the hell out of you with their dodging. I don't want to pick up any of these blue potions right now because I like to min-max. So if I uh, run into trouble, then I will come back here later. Like now, for instance, now is a time when I will happily pick up those blue potions that I left behind. That's why I left them. Unfortunately, I couldn't avoid those because they are auto pickup. How the hell my bullet is going right through him? That's bullcrap. Like literally it has happened a couple of times now where I can be like 100% certain the bullet is hitting him and they know the fucking thing goes right through him. More armor, more stamina, that seems pretty good. You can equip that. Not sure what armor really does. You can't see, like I'm hovering over armor over there, but it's not telling me what it does. So the game can definitely do a better job of actually telling you what the uh, different uh, stuff do. Like armor, what does armor do? Uh, all that kind of stuff. Just give you a little bit more information, you know. I hate games that starve the player of information you can never give the player too much um, information Shit, there's a lot of uh, spiders over here.
I don't like the fact that you can't see the enemies through the walls. You should... Uh, the, the enemies should be uh, highlighted. Like, if you see them through the wall, or if they go behind a wall, they should be highlighted with something like a red outline or something like that, you know? Just to make it clear that they are there. But I don't know if this game engine is actually capable of doing that, but still. Something that the game developer should definitely uh, consider. Get another spell. I like the fact that seemingly uh, loot does not disappear. Uh, piercing shot, powder cost times two, spell power, pierce, refill, accuracy, searing shot. I'm not sure what all of this stuff means, but I mean we can uh, we can try it. Powder per minute. Fire damage. Okay, let's put it in the weapon and have a look. Okay, Q. Now we have a new Q ability. That one gives armor and base damage. Still, I don't know what armor does. I mean, obviously it reduces the damage that you take, but I don't know by what factor. Does it reduce it by a lot? Does it reduce it by little? I don't know by what factor it reduces. Uh, powder per min, powder cap. That's okay, but I actually really like the plus two rum per kill. That's really nice. So I think I'm going to keep the current one that I have. And then I'm going to try out my new spell ability also. Well, I've used it a couple of times now. Seemingly. It just shoots a normal bullet that pierces. That's seemingly all that it does. So it's a normal bullet, but it pierces. Which, I mean, isn't too bad. That's pretty nice. Press Q to use your ability. Right click on the item to empty its sockets. Oh, that's really nice. Right click on the item to empty its sockets. Okay, so that's really, really cool. You can actually um, empty the um, the sockets of an uh, item. Aha, I knew you were there, you bastard. You're not gonna hit me. Okay, so that's really cool. You can actually empty an item. That's really cool. But so far, I really, really only have gotten uh, guns that have sockets, except for this one. This actually one actually does have a socket, but otherwise than that, I've really only gotten um, uh, guns that have sockets. It really seems to me that sometimes a bullet just passes right through a person. 
Okay, destructible rocks. There's an invisible bastard again. Get away from me. You bastard. Away, you bastard. Those invisible bastards are really irritating. But this uh, ability that I took where um, uh, I don't take any damage if I've not taken any damage for 10 seconds, that one is really useful against those guys especially because they pop up and then if you evade, uh, evade them for long enough then they hit you, but you don't take any damage from them due to the ability. So that's really useful. I'm not sure which direction I should actually go to. Okay, two guys with guns. Look at that, the bullets seemingly go right through them. Okay, here's a bunch of eggs. Holy crap, these things really dodge. And he's dead. I don't want to pick up those. So that was clearly like a boss fight because the guy actually talked to me. Get a new blunderbuss. Wow. New weapon. 
Uh, let's have a look. New armor. Uh, plus five powder per minute doesn't really help me a lot. The only good thing about the armor really is that it has a blue socket. So if I wanted to, then I could put that thing into my weapon, but I'm not really gonna bother with that. I more prefer the health regeneration that I get from this current thing that I'm wearing. Uh, extra dropped gold, that will actually be nice. Dropped gold, 10% will be nice. I really can't even remember when last I used my melee weapon, so I'm not even gonna uh, identify that melee weapon, to be honest. And the rest of the stuff also look pretty useless. Let's sell a couple of items that I'm not gonna use, really. I mean, I guess I can... Equip that one, I guess so. That one actually has lifesteal, that's interesting. 8% lifesteal. So the game even has uh, lifesteal mechanics. Which is pretty nice. More RAM, more stamina, I'm not going to use that. Okay, so I have a blunderbuss now. Can I reload it? Oh yes, I can. Let's see what the blunderbuss actually does. Okay, so it literally shoots a bunch of small projectiles. Here come a bunch of spiders, probably. Oh, okay. Something else. Okay. And I level up. Crystal damage if target is nearby. Flat damage after drinking rum. You are invulnerable while dodging. Well, that's obviously nice. Um, let's go for evasion. That sounds nice. It sucks that the blunderbuss doesn't automatically reload like the pistol does, because the pistol automatically re reloads, but uh, the blunderbuss doesn't. Is there anything up there that I can actually go get? I don't believe so. I wish there was a way to like move the screen without actually moving your character, but I understand that the, the screen is actually centered on the character, so that's why you, you can't do it. And I see you can't use your ability if you don't have the item equipped with that ability in it. So, um, yeah, that's interesting. That was pretty close. Oh, let's have a look. I picked the violin up, but nothing happened. Or a fiddle up, but not nothing happened. Okay, so this thing's spread is insane. Like, it shoots three bullets in, like, almost 30 degree angles. It's a little bit insane with regards to the spread of the, the gun. Yeah, I'm afraid these... Uh, um, 
these guys aren't going to last very long. Ouch. Holy shit, this thing is reflecting like almost every bloody bullet. And just like I said, my my people are not going to last very long because it just it's one of those facts of the game. They run in like crazy fucking people and uh, they simply are not long for this world. They just die so quickly. Look at this fucking AI of this game, the, the, they you literally don't run in a straight line, they run like a circle, it's really, it's really something, it makes it, <laughs> look at him running around, it, it really makes it quite difficult to shoot the fuckers, and I'm really impressed, I'm impressed by how irritating it is, because if I'm irritated, then you know that the developer actually is doing a good job of programming the, the AI because he's actually doing like uh, the, the AI is actually behaving in a, a realistic manner, even though obviously beasts like that wouldn't be smart enough to actually evade bullets. A beast would just storm towards you, but still. Um, the AI is really smart in that the dev actually programmed the AI realistically enough to uh, piss you off and uh, evade your shots. So I'm really actually impressed by that. I'm impressed by how pissed it's making me. <laughs> Missing all of my bullets. Okay, there's a lot of eggs. That does not seem like it's going to be fun. I probably should pull out my other gun for this one. this gun also reloaded like the pistol does where it just literally reloads by itself because it's irritating to have to go through that whole reloading animation the whole time okay so we got another spell a uh, throw weapon powder cost eight ranged attack Projectile returns, 100% pierce, continuous pierce, no sword, until return. So, you can um, put it on a shield or a sword. That's pretty interesting. Now that's pretty interesting. 
Okay. Carbine. Oh, so that's an automatic weapon. Uh, 40 damage. Wow, that's a lot. That's a lot more than my current uh, 34 damage. It actually does 40 damage. Fires in bursts of 2. That will shoot boom, 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 like that, I, I imagine. But 40 damage is really nice. But the magazine is only 12, not 20. Or, no. I'm not sure, because on the handgun it says 6.6 .6 magazine. And yet I have 20 bullets. So I'm not really too sure. But it seems really nice. Uh, to be honest, I don't use that piercing shot hardly ever. I really don't use the piercing shot. So I'm thinking of simply swapping my, my weapons. And then this is a moldy twin gun. Fires in bursts of two as well, but this one only does 18 damage. And so it's much uh, lower damage than 40, obviously. So this carbine really seems pretty good. Um, yeah, it seems really good. I mean, it's not much better than the 34 damage that I currently have. Um, but the, the, it does almost double the amount of DPS that my shabby handgun does. So yeah, let's unlock that one. And then uh, let's have a look. Uh, let's equip it. One. Okay, so it has 14 total bullets. So it is quite a bit less than... Um, the pistol. But I think I will equip the pistol and then this uh, carbine. That will give me a nice amount of armor armaments. What can I do with this? Can I sell it? I guess I can sell it, but I won't sell it right now. Uh, and then this spell. Yeah, I'm not going to use it on a sword or anything like that, really. Uh, I don't care too much. see yeah that's fine uh, okay so now we have a carbine uh, let me think okay I did everything over there already That's much easier. I now have a lot of uh, firepower. Unfortunately, this thing has to be reloaded manually as well. The same as the uh, blunderbuss, but I mean, it's not, not so bad. You can see the pistol reloads itself. That's really nice. Yeah, I'm really liking this carbine. It does a lot of damage. 60 damage per second is almost double what my pistol can do.
Okay, so up there is my main objective, obviously. You can see literally that the AI is designed to surround you like they don't run straight toward you like basically all ARPGs on earth do. In this game they literally like flank you. They use fucking flanking tactics. It's a really really impressive like I really can't think of a game in recent memory that I've played where the fucking enemies actually flank you like this. Like, it's really good. Really, I did not expect this kind of AI from solo developer game. I'm running a little bit low on uh, gunpowder, not massively, but a little bit. Forty percent pistol damage if target is far away. Oh, that's very good. That will be fantastic. Yeah, definitely that. Definitely forty percent more damage if the target is far away. And to be honest, that's the only time that I really use my pistol. I mean, I use my pistol as a sharpshooter, like literally. But so that's really good. 40% damage is going to be immediately noticeable. Thank you. 
almost looks like there's a cavern over there, but I don't really see how I would be able to reach it. Let's have a look. Drinking speed plus five life. I don't care about that. Don't care about that. Only 17 damage uh, per bullet. That's really low. Um, yeah, I don't really care about these. Throw that away. Throw that away. moldy twin gun we can throw that away uh, yeah that's fine um, yeah no that's fine Wow, my pistol or my carbine is actually doing a lot more damage now. I think actually that perk is uh, active on the uh, carbine as well. Because if you look, when an enemy is close, I do about 30 damage to them. But when they are far, I all of a sudden now do like 50 damage to them. So you see they're 34. And then when they fu they're further, I do like 50. So for some reason, this carbine um, is basically uh, getting the um, uh, perk from the pistol. And I think the perk specifically said handguns, not uh, carbines or rifles or anything like that so that's actually really nice powder is an issue the bullets really aren't an issue but the powder every now and then is becoming an issue so i might have to think about getting something that gives me more powder like my cape currently gives me um 20 powder per minute which is good and then uh rum as well even though to be honest i don't use rum like i mean i hardly ever take damage i hardly ever use rum so to be honest um the rum is is not even an issue almost um i might want to use this vest i basically need to get stuff that gives me um powder per minute so that this five powder per minute and then four armor but that one has a blue socket which will probably mean that i will take that one instead uh, the five powder per minute is pretty good i mean it's not not really good but it's pretty good um i guess we will take it simply because it has a blue a blue socket which is pretty good so let's equip that one then we can sell that one we can sell this one as well 
Uh, do we want to sell this pistol? Yes, we can sell that pistol. That should help my powder problems a little bit. Basically exactly the same as the one that I already had, I think. Uh, RAM shield capacity. Yeah, I don't really care about any of that. More RAM loot will be okay, but I don't really use RAM at all, like I said. Okay, I didn't want to jump down already, but okay. Sorry about the ladder, you will have to find another way out. Yeah, now the spiders are probably going to get them. is taking a knock. Heal a little bit. Get my uh, ammo back up. That's that apparently. doesn't seem good. Is this the end of the line or can I go further? Have a look at my inventory. I picked up a couple of other things. Uh, 
first shot uh, so it will give a bird shot I mean it's pretty self-explanatory and then this gives more capacity uh, more life per sip drinking speed that seems pretty good I guess we can take that one and we can definitely um, identify that one even though I don't have anything to put it into right now uh, I think we can sell these I don't think they're really, really used for anything to be honest that should be good that stage was nice and short hey, apparently those are eggs that I can pick up and spawn allied minions every minion type has different properties the eggs also stun enemies that's pretty nice you see just like i said previously when you just when you think that the game has nothing extra or new to offer you it pulls out fucking eggs that you can throw as grenades you know like this game really has a lot of depth really surprising for a game from a solo developer i mean already this game is better than a lot of games that i've played that come from multi-billion dollar studios like uh uh what's that game uh Shadow warrior 3 that was a massive disappointment like i really 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 liked shadow warrior 2 and I was expecting Shadow Warrior 3 to be like at least as good as Shadow Warrior 2 because I mean how can you make a shit game after you've made such a good game as Shadow Warrior 2? You literally just need to copy what you did with Shadow Warrior 2 and just add more content, better graphics, more guns. Easy peasy. A monkey could design that game and yet somehow they screwed that up. And they made a worse game by far than what Shadow Warrior 2 was. So I just really don't understand it. So honestly, this game that costs $5 is much better already than Shadow Warrior 3. And I mean, this is a fucking solo dev uh, that made this game. It's just really a slap in the face to um, not only the devs of uh, Shadow Warrior, obviously, but really the devs of most bloody games that I've played recently. The fact that this game can be so good and is from a solo developer is just proof that uh, money cannot uh, make up for talent. If you have talent then you don't need like billions and billions of dollars like those companies have. I will say that the game is a little bit like Serious Sam. It's a backpedal simulator. Like, if you think about Serious Sam, it's just backpedaling the whole fucking time. You just run backwards and shoot enemies. Run backwards, shoot enemies, reload your weapons, and run backwards and shoot more enemies. That's literally 
the entire Serious Sam formula and this game has a little bit of that as well. Um, especially if you're play playing solo. Like I can understand if you're playing with friends you would be able to kill all of these enemies much quicker because you have more guns and that kind of stuff. You know, you multiple people with multiple guns. Um, but yeah, the game could really, I think, uh, benefit from uh, allowing you to keep your uh, crew alive. Like, like I said, um, instead of having the crew die immediately, uh, the crew should be revivable for a couple of seconds after they've fallen to the ground. You know, like instead of just killing them straight out, they can be uh, incapacitated. You know, they get in incapacitated when they run out of health. And then you have like whatever, 10, 15 seconds to, to revive them or something like that. You know, that I think would uh, not only help with the serious Sam-ness of the game, where you just backpedal the whole fucking time, but it would also add another aspect of the game, uh, or enhance another aspect of the game. I mean, the game already has the aspect of having a crew, but it would enhance the aspect of having a crew, because right now, the game has the... Uh, crew mechanics in the game but do you see a fucking crew here no because they're all dead because they run in like brain dead zombies so um i really think that the game would um benefit from um having the uh crew not die as easily or perhaps not even having them die at all you know maybe something like I don't know, making them fall to the ground, but you don't need to revive them, they will stand up after the battle, something like that, you know? A lot of games do that as well, where your, where your companions simply fall to the ground, and then after the battle they are then revived, they then stand up on their own after the battle, you know? Something like that even would be much better than this current uh, system that they have in my opinion. I'm not gonna use that, to be honest, uh, we can just uh, sell that one. And more rum loot, less drinking speed, I mean that's a very high, um, a very high capacity, but I think this one that I currently have is a little bit better. Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to use that one. So we can sell that one. Um, but yeah, guys, I think really I've played enough of the game. I mean, I, I'm definitely going to play more of the game. But I've already made my mind up. I probably made my mind up after the first 30 minutes of this game. Uh, this game is great, really. Uh, this game is the best game that I've played in a long time. Like... It's really, really good. I'm really enjoying the game. And the fact that the game only costs $5 is even more hilarious. Like, really, $5 for this game is a steal. I would pay $20 for this game. Never mind $5. So, it's really insane that this game only costs $5. Uh, what can I say that is bad about the game? Well... Uh, like I said, the minions can certainly be improved, the minion system, with them dying instantly. Uh, changeable resolution options is pretty much a must-have, to be honest. It's really not good that the game does not have resolution options. Even though saying that I'm running the game at 2K right now, so 2K resolution, and the game is only using 40% of my 1070 GTX. And I'm running at it at... Two, two, no, no, not even 2K. I'm, I'm, I'm lying to you guys. I'm running it at 4K. Because my de desktop resolution is 4K. And it's currently running at my desktop resolution. So I'm running the game at fucking 4K. That's um, 4,120 by... Uh, 2160, I believe. So it's not 1080p, 
it's not 140 uh 140 uh, p which is 2k it's running at uh 2160 p which is 4k um so on 4k this game is only using uh 40 percent of my 1070 gtx which is really quite impressive i mean the game looks like shit you know but it looks good for a game that looks like shit that it's really not a terrible wow uh, not a terrible looking game and yet the game uh uses so little of your graphics card really 40 percent i can't remember the last time that i played a game that only uses 40 percent of my card really um so that in itself is uh impressive if you have a a shitty pc then this game will uh definitely be able to run on your pc like even a, a seven series uh card th this game will be able to run on your um card so if you have a 740 750 760 anything like that this game will definitely be able to run on your card i almost died there actually uh, while talking to you guys but um just simply because i'm thinking about what i need to say but um really i i i almost don't have anything bad to say about the game the, the serious samness of the game is bad but i have uh a sneaking suspicion that the serious samness of the game will go away once you play with other players it's really only uh suffering from serious samness now because i am playing the game solo i i am pretty sure that once you have multiple people in a team that uh the game won't be so uh serious samness um but I might be wrong, maybe on multiplayer the health of the creatures will be increased and or more creatures will spawn. That would certainly make it so that um, it is uh, rather balanced with regards to um, the more players means more enemies, you know. Then the game might still be a little bit serious sam you know where you just have to basically backpedal the whole time and and stuff like that but uh another thing that i don't like that i just realized again is especially when playing the fiddle all of the rum in the area is brought to you and that is a massive waste because uh like i said one rum uh bottle can give you either one one rum or 25 and it doesn't matter if it gives you one or 25 the entire rum bottle is consumed so um it's the same with the the gunpowder uh, even though i think the gunpowder works differently i will taste it in just a second um but uh, the gunpowder uh if you are full gunpowder it still takes an entire thing look Ah, now you see the gunpowder works differently if you are at 64 gunpowder and you pick up a gunpowder then it bumps you up past the maximum that is something that the rum does not do if you pick up too much rum you don't go above the maximum amount of rum you lose anything above the maximum amount of rum whereas the gunpowder does not do that so now when i shoot and then pick one up you can see it goes past the limit so that works correctly i wish the developer would make it so that the rum works the way that the gunpowder does where it can go past the upper limit because right now you waste a lot of rum when you play the fiddle especially but even if you don't play the fiddle if you just use one rum and then you pick up a rum bottle you will lose the entire rum bottle so um that's definitely an issue with the game as well but honestly apart from that oh uh, the uh lack of information over here is also pretty bad what does armor do like what what does it actually do i want to know what does the armor do how much does it block uh does it block a certain amount of damage per hit or is it a flat 
a flat damage ignore kind of a thing you know and that's another thing i would really like to know the tutorial could also be better i had to figure out the spells on my own um there definitely could have been uh, a little bit more clarity with regards to um that but really otherwise than that this game is really impressive i'm i really a big fan of the game and um the fact that the game has such good ai to the point where it actually pisses me off that the uh, AI is able to evade my shots. Look at that. That worm didn't come towards me. The worm actually walked like that, like diagonally. That's really impressive. You guys might not think that it's impressive, but believe me, I've played a lot of games where the enemies simply go straight towards you. And this is actually really impressive. Um, so that's really... That's almost the, the biggest shock of, of the entire game. The fact that the enemies are so good that they actually evade your uh, bullets like that. That's really impressive. Um, but yeah, guys. Oh, there's an invisible motherfucker over there. I hate them. Ouch. Come on. I'm going to take damage. Okay, he's dead. Uh, that's really uh, all I have to say about the game. Like, I, I don't have anything bad really to say about the game. I can absolutely recommend the game for five dollars. I mean, five dollars. That's that's a stupid amount of uh, pleasure that you're getting for five dollars. Really, it's it's crazy cheap. Like I said, I would pay twenty dollars for this game. I don't know why the developer uh, isn't asking more for uh, for um, the game because uh, the game really deserves to cost more um, but yeah I can I can totally recommend the game um, so yeah guys that's pretty much it um, I really like the game and really like I said I bought this game with my own money I didn't even think that the game would be so fun I just thought oh well I'm enjoying uh twin stick shooters right now i actually re reviewed another twin stick shooter uh just yesterday that's called solar purge even though i did not like that twin stick shooter um and i just bought the game with my own money five dollars i didn't really expect too much for the game but i really received a lot more enjoyment from the game than what i expected to do so this is really a really really big um surprise to find such a good game with very little reviews to be honest um for five dollars as always it would be really really appreciated if you guys could head over to my nexus.gg forward slash nfp gaming store any games that you buy on there you buy directly from the developers of the game it's not a gray market or anything like that like g2a where you can buy stolen keys uh, all of the keys on uh, Nexus.gg is legitimate keys directly from the developers. And because you are buying it directly from the developers, that means that the developers get 30% more of your money. So if you buy a $10 game normally on Steam, uh, Steam would take $3 or $3.33 of that money because steam takes 33 percent of any developer sales but because you are buying a steam key directly from the developers the developers don't need to give that money to steam and they can keep that money and in return they give like five percent or something like that to the creator who sent the person to them which obviously in this case is me that is why you can only buy keys directly from a develop from a creator store like mine, which is obviously nexus.gg forward slash LFP gaming. So it would be really appreciated if you buy any future Steam keys. Uh, first, go and have a look on the nexus.gg forward slash LFP gaming link to see if the game is on there not all steam games are on there because as i say it's literally the developers who are selling their games like uh, on there and not all developers are on the store 
but if you are choosing to buy a game there it doesn't matter if it's uh, god of war god of war is on there horizon zero dawn is on there uh, this game is not on there but there are many other games and it would be really appreciated if you could use the store in the future before you purchase any game on steam that would be really much appreciated it doesn't cost you anything extra and you are supporting me and the developers of the game by buying through there so yeah guys that's pretty much it i'm really enjoying the game uh but i'm not gonna waste your guys time i will probably create a let's play in the future of the game um but for now i'm not uh not gonna continue playing that much because i have some stuff to do so thanks a lot for watching guys i'll see you guys next time uh yeah thanks a lot for watching